Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really do appreciate your time. I wanted to quickly jump on here and talk about this photo shoot that Lakeith Stanfield did for Replica Magazine and just kind of the conversations that are happening on social media right now. Um, just in reaction to seeing him in this way. And I really don't have too much to say on the subject because I'm not really moved when I see images like this, when I see black men partaking in queer adjacent aesthetics for me it's just it's just something that people are allowed to do black men are people so people can wear whatever they want to wear express themselves however they want to express themselves for me i'm not really a part of this ideology that looks at queerness as the downfall or a detriment to the black community I'm much more interested in being leaders and being fathers and husbands and starting businesses and reinstilling wealth in our community instead of shaming queer black men for expressing themselves how they feel comfortable. So what I do think is interesting though on the other side of that conversation is I see a lot of in particular black women sharing these images around and kind of expressing this overjoy for seeing Lakeith is you know expressing himself in a more open manner and I think it's very strange <laughs> um but only because for me I don't feel like if you support queer folks you have to rinse, you know sing it from the rooftops I've never I've never been on that type time as a former commercial print model I have been around queer men all of my life so for me it's not a big deal <laughs> it's just like I said people are people people have different sexualities some people act the you know one way while others act another so for me it's never been a big deal for me to shout that I'm an ally from the rooftops I think when in particular cis heterosexual people do that it's very cringy to me because it just feels like do you want like points or do you want like like I don't know you want someone to see how woke you are like it's very weird posturing for yourself so that you can you know be given credit for being an advocate for someone that's queer like for me I find that to be strange but I noticed a lot of that happening on social media like I saw people sharing it around and like having these captions like oh I'm just so happy to see him living his truth and all this other stuff we don't know anything about this um we don't know if him wearing these heels is a declaration of his sexuality I just think in our generation we are not used to seeing that outside of someone explicitly you know coming out as queer whereas I think like during the late 80s early 70s it was much more common to see uh you know metrosexual men wearing certain clothing items that we associate as being women only clothing items and no one really cared or questioned their sexuality i.e prince or i.e many of the other metrosexual dressing superstars of that time you know i can remember so many of the guys on my dad's albums they had on, you know, tight pants and high heels. So that's just how they dress. And it was really not a big deal. So I think for our generation, uh, you know, with hip hop being so male centric and so like, like super, super hood and super like urban and, you know, really pushing toxic masculinity, I think the pendulum has swung in the other direction, so to speak. And so I think that's why, you know, it can be like a big thing or like these kinds of conversations and then you you know I saw people saying like oh this is why I didn't like Lakeith and this is why you know I always thought he was a weirdo I'm just basically like I don't know expressing their uncomfortability with him wearing heels <laughs> which for me I again I just don't understand either way why these types of things go viral why they cause conversations and to be honest I kind of feel like that's exactly why that was the artistic direction for this photo shoot is because they knew it would be shocking they knew it would get a lot of people talking possibly paying more attention to him again because he's right you know at this current moment he's not that top actor that everyone's talking about he's not getting a lot of love on social media he's kind of fell off you know since his incident with the breakfast club so i kind of honestly feel like this was a strategic stunt to bring attention back to him and um it's working <laughs> it's definitely working and i hope that 
this was ultimately all this was about like for me that's what I see it as so I'm only I'm only talking about this because I do see you know certain videos now popping up where people are taking Lakeith's photo shoot and kind of using that as a jumping off point to begin to talk about how black men are secretly queer and how you know black you know what this does to the image of black men once again before I go I just wanted to reiterate that I personally don't feel like the biggest plaguing issues in the black community are queer folks I just I just really don't and I felt like when we stop looking at all of the fundamental issues in the black community and use our time and energy to shame queer folks for expressing their themselves and, you know, partaking in certain aesthetics because we find it uncomfortable, I feel like that's exactly why we'll never get anything done because there are issues that we need to focus on. And what I'm talking about is the issues that affect our homes, how our children are being raised, why financially the black community has less than fifty dollars <laughs> like why we don't own more property why we don't own more wealth like I feel like those are the things you need to be addressing I feel like black men especially if you want to come online and talk about how gay men are ruining the black community I feel like you should keep the same energy when you're talking to your friends and they're you know telling you how they have five baby mamas and they just you know they, they just can't keep it together and when one start getting on their nerves it goes to the other one and how that's those are also the issues you should be addressing you should not be treating that behavior like it's okay and really, to me, the most unmasculine thing a man could do is carelessly spread around his seed, carelessly, you know, not be there for his family, not take care of his children, not take care of the women that he's had children with. To me, I think that is that is the one of the greatest things that has been a tool to emasculate black men, not this kind of imagery. And again, I feel like we're getting off focus when we take so much time to shame queerness. Let's focus on fixing the things that matter, if that's really what your motivation is and you're not just homophobic. <laughs> so that's all I have to say on this matter. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please comment below if you're feeling what I'm saying. And if you're not feeling what I'm saying, all that I ask is that you be respectful, especially regarding this topic. But yes, please make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my commentary. And yeah. Take care. Bye.